What you will see next, is a 3D lighting design of a TV studio and open offices surrounding it. In our projects, we design using 3D lighting simulation programs. This allows us to receive precise lighting levels. In this project, we were able to achieve 78% energy savings. In order to get the precise levels of lighting, and how the lighting reflects on different materials, objects and colors. We design everything that you see here from the tables, windows, floors, stairs, chairs to walls. Let's take you on a quick tour around the place. For example, the light on the restaurant table is comforting. Dark wood helps by absorbing the light. However, there is more light on the office desk. The light color of the desk, reflects the light much more compared to the tables in the restaurant. We design every detail from tables to stairs to structures, to achieve, the precise feeling of light, the precise lux levels, the precise impact on architecture, the precise reflectivity of light, the precise energy savings. The color seen on the box located at the right side shows the light levels, which we call lux. The green area located on the left, shows the light levels on the table. The blue area shows how much lux is available on the floor. Let's go to that office desk to get a better idea. The green round color on the table, shows that there is 500 lux available on that specific area. The light green color where the cursor is circling, indicates that there is 400 lux. There is 350 lux available on the corners of the table. There is 100 lux on the chairs, shown with blue color. Now, we are seeing how the light and shadows look on the table and chairs. Let's proceed to the other areas. Now, we are seeing how the room is lit. There is 100 lux on the floor, shown with blue. There is 700 lux on the table, shown with purple.
There is 300 to 400 lux on the other table, shown with different tones of green. All of the office desks are lit with 500 locks. The required light level for offices are 500 locks. We precisely designed the luminaires to supply 500 locks on these tables. One luminaire consumes 152 watts of energy per table for 8 people. This means huge amounts of energy savings only 19 watts per person. This steel structure you see here is the TV studio. The goal is not to let the light coming from the office tables affect the studio. As you can see that the light inside the TV studio is between 0 to 10 lux. This means that virtually there is no light. The target has been accomplished. In this meeting room, the luminaires chosen to light up the table is wrong. The center of the table is 700 lux, and the corners, sides of the table are between 100 to 200 lux. This means that the center of the table is too bright and the sides are too dim. A luminaire with a wide angle beam needs to be chosen to light up the meeting room table evenly. Otherwise, the lighting will negatively affect the working conditions and result in discomfort. The lighting used for cafes and restaurants, needs to be different compared to the offices. The lighting on the table, needs to be dim but still enough to see the food. The light should be rich in color, to give a pleasing feeling. It should be spread evenly on the table, for better visibility. As you can see, the lighting on the tables are distributed evenly. The lighting levels show that, there is 200 to 350 lux on the table. Now let's go to the offices at the back.
As we move along the corridor, you can see that the lighting is designed to lead the way. There is 40 lux of light on the corridor, while consuming only 4 watts of energy per luminaire. That is huge amounts of energy savings. Now, we just entered the offices located in the back side of the architecture. Please observe carefully, at the office located on the left hand side. A special luminaire is designed to light up the production desk as well as the room itself. The light level required for the production desk needs to be dim, which is 200 lux. Now, we will show you something really interesting. There is a big database of lighting manufacturers and their luminaires. Besides designing luminaires, we also use the lighting manufacturer's lighting systems. Let's begin by showing you how. First, let's see what type of luminaire we used. The red circle is showing the type of luminaire we used to light up this hallway. The box located on the left hand side, shows all of the luminaires that we decided to use in this project. This is the luminaire, that is lighting up the corridor. Let's take a closer look. You are seeing the details of the luminaire, which are highlighted in black. For example, the manufacturer of this luminaire is Philips. It is a 3 LED luminaire, consuming 4.14 watts of energy. And here is a photo of the luminaire, to get a better understanding of how it looks. Let's have a look at all the luminaire manufacturers that are listed. Let's choose a lighting manufacturer, and see their products. Now, we are looking at different varieties of luminaires. We are looking at the photo, luminance chart, and the specs of the luminaire chosen. Now, the red lines are showing us how the light is distributed from the luminaires to the surrounding area. We are back to how the area looks, with using light levels.
Finally, let's take a tour around the office.